nothing but a deflating balloon? Tap into the power of your own creativity as, a, as you design, build, and test a one-of-a-kind balloon-powered car. Also, learn about Newton's third law of motion. For this experiment, you will need a three by six inch piece of cardboard, a ruler to measure the cardboard, four plastic bottle caps, tape, a balloon, two straws, and a skewer stick that has been cut into two. So the first step is to, of course, cut the cardboard into a three by six inch piece. That is the body of the car. So we've already done one straw so you have two three inch pieces like we have done right here attach them with tape to the cardboard rectangle so that they are parallel to each other and to the short size of the rectangle these straws will hold the axles now fit the mouth of the balloon over a straw. Tape it down securely, right, like this. Now, attach the straw vertically to the cardboard piece, like so. Tape it down and hold it like that. Slide the screwers through the two parallel straws. Drill holes in four water bottle caps. That's what we've done. We gotta put these through this. Almost in. Now we have four wheels. Wow. <laughs> that was fun. Use hot glue if necessary because you have to make sure that these wheels are binded or stuck to the axle. Also, make sure that you are not gluing the axle to the straw itself because the axle is a thing that needs to be moving on its own. The axle is what will make the car move. Inflate the balloon by blowing into its straw. Pinch the straw, set the car on a smooth surface, and let the straw go. Building a balloon-powered car is a wonderful illustration of Newton's third law of motion. For every action, there is an equal but opposite reaction. The action is the air rushing from the straw and pushing against the air behind the car. The reaction is the air behind the car pushing against the car with the same force, causing the forward movement of the car. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe.